Hi everyone, my name is Balint and today we are going to look at uh, my new build which is a Flyfish RC Boledo VX 3.5 uh, frame build. So first of all, before I go and fly with this thing, I would like to talk about it a little bit. If you are not interested in the history of how I built it or why I use the components that are in like uh, you can see some timestamps on the video now, so you can jump into the test. Uh, I will be doing two tests, uh, one with the camera, so like one with the Cadex Walnut action cam and one just with the bare drone. Uh, the reason for this is uh, that the drone itself with a 650 mAh R4S battery weights 225 grams. Uh, with the camera it's up to 294 grams or something like that so here in the UK 250 is a very important limit I can basically fly this anywhere if I don't have the action cam on it uh, and I have to come out to a place like this to the wilderness if I want to fly it actually with the action cam on uh, so yeah, let's talk about the build a little bit. So the frame is obviously the Volador VX uh, 3.5. Uh, let's go... Well, it's not really too logical, but let's go from the beginning to the end. So for camera, I have this uh, Cadex Ant and uh, most of these components are salvaged from my previous Crux 35 build. Uh, the reason for getting this frame is because I couldn't get any more Crux 35 frames or base plates in the UK. They are all sold out in every single store. So yeah, most of this is salvaged from my older build. Uh, so this is why I have this tiny uh, Cadex Ant FPV camera. I, I really like it. I don't have anything to complain about. It's just the size. It was kind of tricky to get it mounted. As this mount is designed for 19 or 20 millimeter cameras where this is a nano sized camera 14 millimeter so I use some of these like silicon plates on the inside some on the outside oh I just killed my Sony camera that's not good I need to be more careful so yeah that's a Cadex uh, end camera uh, here we have the stack which is uh, and the uh, most disgusting uh, motor soldering I really don't have any excuse for that other than I just wanted to fly as soon as possible and this is how it turned out oh, I can get it into focus, I'm too close so yeah, like the most disgusting uh, motor <laughs> soldering you've ever seen uh, for the stack I have this PDB F405 mini uh, stack it just came out recently, it has a 35 amp uh, ESC 4-in-1 and the uh, F4 flight controller. You can theoretically connect it to the SpeedDB app via Bluetooth. I couldn't get it to work for some reason. It recognizes the board, but as soon as I tried to connect to it, it won't connect, so I couldn't get it to configure. Uh, yeah, for the VTX I'm using is an analog VTX. It's a UK brand DFPV. It's called the Chaos uh, Mini at 600 milliwatts don't have anything else to say about it really it's working fine uh, for antennas I'm for the VTX I have a brush FPV cherry antenna right hand circular polarized oh that was a, a plane just flown in front of the Sun that was surprising what are the chances uh, for the radio antenna I've got this uh, ORT 2.4 gigahertz uh, dipole antenna this is what I'm using on my radio as well, so they are matched up. Uh, so I'm using the Happy Model EX 1404 uh, 3500 kV motors. Uh, so what everyone says, even the manufacturer recommends to use like 1804 motors. The thing is, I have, as I already mentioned, I have transported most of these things from my Crux 35 build. So this is why I'm using such a small size motors. And for the propellers, I'm using the Emax Evan 3.5 inch propellers. Yeah, they are pretty much the standard that almost everyone uses on this build. 
I really like them. They are better than the, not they are not better. They are different than other 3.5 inch uh, props, but they are the only ones in this kind of design. They are really, really quiet and they have a, a lot more authority on the lower throttle range. Like any other 3.5 millimeter propellers I tried on my Crux build, uh, but just to way too aggressive on the lower throttle range so yeah that's why i like these ones okay so let's get into the into the flights so as i mentioned before uh, i was using the crux 35 build so therefore these are the only batteries i have these are like all 650 4s batteries uh, the reason for that is because these gave out like 245 grams with the action cam on the cadex uh, on the Happy Model Crux 35 and uh, yeah I tried to stay under 250 so these are the batteries I got I don't have anything bigger so today these are the ones I'm going to fly with uh, yeah I have to push it really forward to get like the right balance if I put it any even a few millimeters behind it will already be unbalanced so yeah let's fly okay so uh, let's do this okay so this is gonna be the first flight without the action camera attached uh, and flying in acro okay no big surprise as of yet okay it flies uh, really smooth obviously I don't have a tune for it at the moment uh, it seems to fly really good I don't see any resonance in the picture. Yeah, I had some uh, problems with the Crux 35 build. The reason I broke it the last time was uh, <laughs> I actually uh, did something wrong during its building. I was afraid it's gonna be the ESC. I'm still not sure if it's not, but I think I just accidentally shorted the, <laughs> the receiver, one of the pins on the receiver. To the VTX uh, ground and yeah well it flies basically just like my Crux 35 used to maybe even a little bit more stable oh and here it is okay uh, well that's very unfortunate because uh, okay, let's get the beeper on so that's really unfortunate as uh, this was the problem I experienced the uh, last time and how I broke my Crux 35 build so this means there's either something wrong with my beta flight setup which I really hope is the case or it can either mean that I got a, a bad uh, it can either mean that I got a bad uh, ESC or flight controller I, I really hope I can figure this out and it's gonna only be like a software error and nothing uh, hardware like because this is literally what happened the last two times I crashed and this is how I broke my uh, Crux 35 frame uh, yeah well oh no okay well the build flies well until it decides to crash and I have to investigate what's happening with these crashes uh, what what can cause them but I'm really afraid that it's going to be a problem with the ESC or the flight controller and the thing is it seems to appear after a, after like a given period of time so it's not like gonna do this straight away and it always happens when I'm upside down so yeah this is the information I have I was thinking uh, Crux 35 the whole build space I have is like probably this much as between the two standoffs here so I had my VTX put on top of it and the receiver wedged in between them and I was just thinking probably I just shorted something between the boards as I left uh, <laughs> some of my receivers uh, connections uh, uh, unshielded by a heat shrink but this time I, I put a huge piece of heat shrink to avoid that completely and it's not the problem and now I cannot trust my quad at all 
Well, just for the sake of the test, I'm gonna put on the action camera. <laughs> I'm gonna fly around mostly over the road so I don't have to go and explore the jungle. Yeah, so just for the sake of the test, I'm gonna do that and we will see what happens. So this is what the build looks like with the action camera attached to it. The battery is pushed down, this time it's almost in perfect balance. Well, actually it is in perfect balance. Um, yeah, I have like a temporary solution with this foam that I used on my Crux 35 build. I just cut it down shorter, but I will cut out a new foam for this setup actually, so it will perfectly because right now it's uh, really easy to tip it out from its uh, position forward if I crash somewhere I will probably lose this camera yeah so I say I'll definitely crash this drone now as we've seen, seen it before this happened the last time I was flying this with the new stack this happened now so I really have to figure out what causes this if it's a building error if it's a setup error or if I or if I kill the hardware in one day, which I really doubt because I didn't really do anything extreme with it. It doesn't have any signs of physical damage to it. So yeah, let's try a flight with the camera on, because this is mainly what I want to test, if the 1404 motors are capable enough to, to fly like a 300 gram freestyle pod. Okay, so as you can see, I have a little bit of the camera in my uh, in my actual uh, FPV feed. Okay, ready to arm, and let's see what happens. What I was thinking about is uh, that the problem might be with the air mode. Like uh, maybe if I don't use air mode, I can avoid the flipping. Oh, and drone flies. Flawlessly, I would say. Oh, oh, that was not me. That wasn't my input, and I got like a big push. I highly doubt that was the wind. I'm gonna put it in air mode. Yeah, it seems to be a different problem. And, and again, I got like a little push from nowhere, which. Ah. Oh starting to worry about this yeah I mean acro I was gonna say like oh I, I got like a little push from the side but it it was just small enough to be the the wind or something Put on air mode and let's see if I crash after a couple of flips and then I and then I will say that it's probably just the air mode and hopefully it's just something I have to figure out in beta flight and yeah it seems to fly just fine now Oh yeah, I'm not gonna use uh, any kind of stabilization for this video. Usually, I usually I use gyro flow for my videos, but uh, to like have an idea how stable is the quad, how much resonance the frame has without a tune, like just on the basic F405 stack tune. Yeah, now I'm not falling out of the sky. Strange. Because including the previous battery and the last uh, like three, four batteries I've flown it at a different uh, place with a different frame, it had the same problem. I was doing some flips and it just randomly started spinning and falling out of the sky. I'm trying to push it a little bit but it doesn't seem to wear out the drone too much. Oops, oops, oops. <laughs> I'm gonna over push it. Oh, shut up, low battery. I have plenty. I have plenty of battery to play around with. Okay. 
back to Acro and let's land. Well, I'm just gonna see, I'm gonna do another few tests. Let's hope the camera is still going. Yes, it is still going, amazing. Yeah, I recently had problems with the Cadex um, Walnut camera as well, stopping recording. But yeah, now it seems to fly without a problem. So yeah, I really have to figure out what causes it to flip out and start spinning and then crushing. But yeah, basically that's it. It flies good. I'm really satisfied with it. I was afraid that the 300 grams is gonna be like way too heavy for this uh, for this 1404 motors. By the way, they are just a little bit warm, uh, actually. What I can do is I can open up my phone. Mm. I mean, now it's a bit late as I already stopped them flying around with it but just like take a look on the heat camera on the quad it has values between 22 and 53 so even the VTX okay now the VTX seems to be a bit hotter up to 60 degrees well yeah but the motors didn't seem to be hot at all and uh, for the touch it was just barely above the body temperature so so i think the 1404 motors are are more than enough for for a kind of beginner intermediate uh, pilot like me with a 300 gram build i'm gonna have a lot of fun with this uh, quad as long as it's not gonna spin out and crash on me all right well uh, Thank you for watching this video, I hope you liked it. If anyone is building this drone now they know that this is what they should expect. So this camera is like half the weight of a new generation GoPro or about the same weight as a DJI Action 2 camera. So just in case anyone wants to know what to expect with a tiny build like this. And yeah, it flies great. Uh, of course, uh, PID tune needs to be done on it to remove any kind of resonance from the frame uh, honestly I don't think I'm gonna be bothered with that yes I know telemetry lost I just pulled it so yeah thank you for watching this video if you liked it then throw a like on it or not it's up to you and don't force anyone if you want to subscribe subscribe if you don't want to subscribe then don't subscribe if you already subscribed and you want to unsubscribe after this un unsubscribe if you want to unsubscribe after this video then you are free to go go everyone's free we're living in a free world i guess so see you or see you not in the next one